Yo, what's up guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a Roblox Executor quick and easy with Velocity API. Actually, CZK Velocity Edition, because our custom API is now down, so we're going to use Velocity for until my uh, developer comes back from vacation. And yeah, first step, like always, you have to join my Discord server. So as you see, you will come to this uh, channel that says Verify. And you just got to go ahead and click on Verify. When you're done verifying, you just want to scroll down until you see C uh, CZK API Velocity, not custom, but this one right here. So these are the uh, these are like what we need, and I'll show you guys how to do this. These are very important. We're gonna get to this later. This is the most important step right here. You have to download Velocity API or CZK API Velocity Edition, and it's very simple. Just gotta click on that link. All right, so after that, we, we can just go ahead and open up our um, Visual Studio. Alright guys, so when you're creating a new project, you want to go ahead and type um, Windows Forms App, and not this one, not this one, but this one. This is the one that we want. Click on, double click on this one. Actually, you can just click on next, but whatever. I'm just gonna name it uh, CK, CK API Velocity Edition. Text, holy shit, I'm making mine. Whatever. Make sure on framework 4.7.2. Alright, as soon as you're loaded in to the form, you can go ahead and click on this one, right click, add reference, and I have it right here, I'm just going to equip it right now, and um, you just got to click on browse and look for the uh, file, uh, it's right here for me, I'm just going to click on OK. Alright, when we've done that, we can just go ahead and uh, right click over here, and click on add, and over here, and we're just going to go to uh, general. And we're gonna look for application manifest file, Windows only. Click on add. This one open up this thing, very confusing, but what you gotta do, you're gonna go to my disk server again, open up this thing. As you see right this over here. Copy that and paste it in here. So what this will do, uh, to open your executor, it will ask for admi administrator. It is because the um the <laughs> Um, um, fuck. Okay, we'll go back over here and we want to copy all this thing right here. This thing right here over here. Copy that. Control C. Click on the empty space on the form. You want to see the public part partial class. You want to uh, go over here and click enter and then paste it in here. This might show errors, but then there we go. Go back over here. We're going to get this thing over here. This is the. This is, will start the communication. This will also auto download the files that we need as soon as you uh, load the form. We're gonna go back over here, we're gonna copy all of this thing over here. The, this is the inject. Enter, enter, paste. Boom. We got inject, form one load, whatever, all that stuff. So now we can just get it a uh, button, two button actually. Uh, gonna put it like this. We're gonna get a red six box, and now we're gonna name the button. So this one is uh, attach, aka inject, and this one is execute. And of course, I'm just gonna add another button which is clear. It's very simple. All right, so we got everything. We're gonna double click on the attach button, and we're gonna type um. That's how, and no, actually, you just inject. You're just gonna type inject. And then just like that, boom. That simple. I'm gonna go back over here. I'm gonna do um, rich text box one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Rich text box. Text box one dot clear. Now, execute. We're gonna double click on this and do um, CZK funk dot um, execute. It just says everything for you, so just text and then boom, boom, just like that. So now we've done everything, and when we click start, it will ask us for administrator. Uh, like we need an administrator to run it, so just give it a second. So we're just gonna go ahead and click restart. Just give it some time, it will restart all your project, and yeah. All right, now guys, I'm loading into my project. I'm just gonna go ahead and just wait for this thing. Alright guys, now I'm loading into my project, I'm just going to go ahead and click start. 
and now we just want to open up Roblox and I'm just telling you do not click attach because I don't know you might get glitched but yeah I'm just, I'm just gonna go, go ahead and open Roblox so give me a second alright guys now we can go ahead and click attach there we go beautiful beautiful and now it will attach just like that wonderful looks beautiful this is just the injected screen on a porn, but yep. And anyway, guys, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and bye bye.